Hey there guys and welcome to the first new LP reveal of today. Now, none of you actually guessed this game, which kind of makes me sad because it's a really awesome game. That must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing until the end, until it be thoroughly finished, yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. There is truth in that. Anyways, you've seen the title, this is Uncharted Drake's Fortune, exclusively on PS3. I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. So yeah, the opening stage. We're on a boat in the middle of the ocean near Panama, apparently. We just dug up a coffin and there's pirates coming at us. To, yeah, Uncharted, it's kind of a third-person shooter platforming-esque. It's kind of hard to put a label on it because it's kind of a jack-of-all-trades. But this part of the game is kind of like third-person shooter, Gears of War-ish. Except no chainsawing pirates in half. Anyways, you play as Nathan Drake, the great 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 grandson of Sir Neath Sir was it was his name again? For Francis Drake, yeah. And yeah, he's like a treasure hunter of some sort, an explorer. He's kinda like a modern day Indiana Jones. And Yeah, this is immediately where I started liking the game when I first played it because the main character isn't like some super powered buff guy or whatever, it's just Nathan Drake's kind of an average Joe, I mean you can really relate to him I mean he's not like super powered like Kratos or he doesn't have electric superpowers like Cole, he's just a regular guy eh, who pounds pirates for fun and they just keep on coming. Sully, where are you? And apparently we're waiting for some Sully to pick us up. I don't know why, but Sully kind of reminds me of that Pixar movie with all the monsters and stuff, where they have to like scare kids for energy, something like that. Punch him in the balls a few times. Oh, that pose is not. If you're in a pose like that, I think your back may be broken. How can? your back be broken if you get punched in the balls a few times. Okay, 
good. Where the hell are these pirates after me anyway? I mean, what did I, what did I do to them in the first place? Oh crap, the boat's on fire. Oh sweet, I guess Sully's coming here to save us. Wherever the hell that may be. It's probably not that big blue fluffy monster from Monsters Inc. Uh oh. Damn it. Oh crap. The boat's gonna blow. All ship's gonna blow! You gotta jump! Oh wait! What are you doing? Okay. Come on! Okay. Go! Alright! Uh. <laughs> Can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Ho oh, ho, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. It's still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! <sighs> Should've seen that one coming. Ugh. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? 
<laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. Did I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santa log? Hanging on every word. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in the jungle, looking for the lost city of El Dorado. And you can see the platforming as aspect of the game in this little piece a bit better. Also, the great graphics. You really think Francis... Long way from England. Like, look at Drake's shirt right after we jumped into the water back there. It, like, became dark and, like, water patterns on it. Like, that's, like, real advanced graphics. And I guess we found something. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. God damn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Yeah, I mean, come on. The city's bound to be hidden somewhere. I mean, obviously, you're not just gonna walk right into it, otherwise, it would have been found years ago. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Ah, uh, Sully, you and your crazy comparisons. This is more like it. Yeah, this does look like some kind of building ruins. Maybe we found it. What do you think this is, Lincoln? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Maybe it's like Mayan or something. Quick, look for clues to the 2012 Doomsday Prophecy. Maybe this game holds the answers. Anyway, it's time for more crazy platforming in the jungle. I mean... Yeah, Nathan Drake's really like a modern day Indiana. Just like give him a whip and a hat and he'd be just like Harrison Ford. Except Harrison Ford would be way too old to play him in a movie, so they have to get Mark Wahlberg. Find anything? Nothing yet. Be careful up there. Yeah, we don't wanna hit Sully with a rock or something. Poor old guy. Hey! There's something funny about the ground down there. Quick, Sully, you go check it out. I'm stuck up here, so yeah, I can do it. That's why we have you. I climb, you check. Was that like a trap door or something? It's hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Now, Kratos wouldn't have any problems with that, but... Seeing as this is not God of War, we will have to find an alternative. Oh, crap. Okay, gotta jump over there. I mean, he's quite adventurous. I would never be able to pull off a jump like that. Not in the life of me. But then again, I'm not really a person that's keen on physical exercise. I don't like it. And jump. And we're up here. So how are we going to smash through a wooden door? Oh, what's this? Push, come on. Well, I guess that pulls it off. Good work, kid. All right, we're in. Now I just need to get down there. How am I gonna do that? Eh, when in doubt, just jump. Hmm. Okay. Uh, who goes first? Oh, oh, oh! Holy crap, bats! Have we stumbled upon, like, a South American bat cave? A medieval South American bat cave? Oh wait, it was like 2,000 years before Inca, so it's like a prehistoric bat cave in South America. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. 
Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and... Well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Ah, yes, the thin line between love and war. The Spaniards sure left a lot of crap on them. Ain't that what they do best apart from sleeping in the middle of the day? Careful, Nate, that's quite a drop. You're not kidding. No, Nate, he's dead freaking serious. Find a way across. Captain Obvious is in the house or cave. Okay, guess we might have to shoot something to do something. Let's shoot the pot just for shits and giggles. Oh, that's a sturdy pot if it takes two gunshots to destroy. Hey, that looks like an old powder keg over there. Yeah, sorry, Sully, I saw it first. But, yeah, we can cross the chasm. Ah, exploring ruins. No wonder they're gonna make a movie about the Uncharted series. I mean, it does look like a decent medium to base adventure movies upon. I mean, I've said it before, but this kinda looks like Indiana Jones. Or like the Tomb Raider movies. Except that those sucked horribly. The only good part about them was watching Angelina Jolie for two hours. Here, let me do that. What, you're gonna watch Angelina Jolie for two hours? Well, suit yourself. Oh, you're gonna open the door. Well, that works as well. Thank you, Sully. I'll hold it open. See if you can jam it from the other side. Wow, the old guy's stronger than he looks if you can hold up that big stone door for so long. Let's see, this should be enough to jam it with. Alright, let go. This ought to hold it. Hurry, Sully! That was a little too close. Let's hope this place has a back door, huh? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Well then, let's pull it out and look it up. Come on, get me the journal. Press select for the journal, okay. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? Ah, Sully. Well, anyways, that's all for the first part of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Don't know if you can upload more of this before the 25th, but thanks for watching anyway.